Hello, my friends. Good morning to everyone there. It's mornings with Boomy. That's right. It's another morning, another day. Episode 6, I believe. Oh, no. Mm. Anyways, my friends, how's everyone doing? Good morning. I hope you're having a good giant cup of coffee. And for those of my brothers and sisters out there who are across the pond, good night. Farewell. Alvita saying goodbye. Anywho, how are you? Ah, right, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the solo movie. I have not seen it, so that is my uh, that is my uh, prologue for all you there. I have not seen it, or my caveat. I haven't seen it yet, but I have been keeping um, great attention to it, more or less to see what's uh, the pulse of the Star Wars overall fan base. Or the polls. Yeah, I said that already. Sorry, I don't edit these videos, so my brain's like, I'm gonna just talk all day and see what happens. Crap. So, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, this is why I need notes. I, I, but I can't read notes while driving, because that's illegal. One might argue this might be illegal, but whatever. So, the solo movie. So, I went to go see for a couple of local theaters near me who are pretty gigantic. And uh, I pretty much what has sh shown to me is that uh, is anyone going to this movie? Because typically with a Star Wars movie, when it first debuts or this, that, or the other thing, um, most of the seats are sold out. Most of the seats were not sold out. In fact, I, I myself could easily take uh, myself and a hundred of my closest friends, uh, or everyone here on this channel, to the theater to watch a solo. That is how not sold out this movie is doing. And it has not done well overseas. I think it's, um, last I checked, it probably made a little bit more. In Asia, or China, I believe, or whatever, about $10 million. That's not good. Now, some people would like to talk about, you know, the politics behind everything with this. And me being be a big political animal, I love politics, I love history. Like, literally, I love history. I have 2,400 books in my own personal library, and most are about history. I love it. My, my, uh, his, uh, my concentrations in history are colonial America and uh, Civil War. And I love the 1940s. Oh, my gosh. Talk about those. Are the... And I love the swing music from it. Anyways, that's another video. <clears throat> I'm old school. Leave me alone. So... Uh, what is damaging the Star Wars name? Now, when Disney took it over, I was, I wanted to be, I did not want to be part of the choir who were saying, Disney's going to, the mouse is going to destroy everything. I was like, guys, come on. They have a giant budget behind them. The mouse is there. They make pretty good movies. Let's just, let, let's just see what happens. Rogue One came out, and I like Rogue One. The actors, I couldn't stand. I think the blind guy was the only one I enjoyed. Uh, the only character I actually liked. The other ones, I just thought, fell flat. Not necessarily because of the writing, but because of the actors portraying some of the characters. Just fell flat. <clears throat> now, if you want me to go in-depth into some of these movies, I will more than gladly do so. Put your comments in the comment section below. Uh, then came The Force Awakens, or however that chronologically uh, happened. And Force Awakens, I'm like, oh, hey, look, it's A New Hope, but with a chick. Okay. It was whatever. Uh, it, it was okay. It, it was okay. Uh, I wouldn't call it the best movie in the world. I, I don't think it lived up to his hype, personally. That's just my opinion. And then came The Last Jedi. I could go on and on about that movie, uh, but I won't. But yeah, then came The Last Jedi. We'll leave it there. Because <laughs> I personally will not buy it and add it to my movie collection, which also is pretty large. Um, that I think is saying a lot. And I'm not the only Star Wars fan out there who's saying that. A lot of us are saying that. And I think a lot of this um, goes to the hand of something that is a big pet peeve of mine. And uh, I'm going to caveat this with, uh, I don't care what your political opinion is. I don't think our political opinions should matter. I think when it comes to entertainment, um, politics in general should stay the F out because what is entertainment? Entertainment is an escapism for us to escape all 
the stuff going on around us, whether we're right, whether we're left, whether we're center, whether we're this, that, or the other thing. To me, entertainment just needs to just leave well enough alone. And I have been seeing a lot of uh, uh, politics, in a sense, coming into these movies. And in in a way, my biggest pet peeve is when they bring politics in. Like, okay, if you want to bring politics in, eh, whatever. But don't get too preachy. And if you're going to be preachy about it, don't get so uber offensive. You start calling, you start going after your fans, Kathleen Kennedy, and the writer of the solo movie, and other people like that. Listen, just a leave the characters in the damn movies alone. Leave them alone. Leave the legacy characters alone. If you want to make it a grand gesture or a big whatever, do that with a secondary character. And then try to pump that one and see how the fans respond. Just do that. Let's leave legacy characters alone. They effed Luke like crazy in the last one. That's not even about politics. It has destroyed his character in in The Last Jedi. It was just... It wasn't Luke Skywalker. I, I, I will die in my grave going that was not Luke Skywalker that's not my Luke Skywalker mother <clears throat> anyways soapbox but you know that's my thing I want to be entertained I don't want to sit there going oh gosh here we go bleeding hearts on every side just blah 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 it's like just stop stop trying to reinvent characters stop trying to do that I feel like I'm going into a Seinfeld moment there uh, <laughs> just stop People want to be entertained. It's the same with sports. People want to be entertained. Just let us be entertained. Let us escape from things like video games. We go into video games to be entertained, to escape from the reality that is whatever our reality is. That's why we do it. But stop. I, I just, I cannot stand it when people try to force things on other people. It's like, listen, like I'm a big free market guy. I am a giant free market guy. And when it comes to business, I'm not only a manager, I employ a lot of people. But I run this channel and I'm constantly thinking, what is it that you guys want? What is it that my customers want? How can I change to accommodate you guys or them? So that that's my principal thought on that and I think when it comes to serving a fan base your clientele you need to do and create things based for them and if be and if your clientele if a majority of them who are your bread and butter literally are saying hey whatever you're doing about whatever game movie this that the other thing you need to take that into account go like okay maybe we need to step back we need to change some things shuffle management around uh, then that's that's a smart leader. That's a smart business move, and it's all about business. It is. It's all about business. And so I, on either way, most a lot of movies, a lot of games that try to get all political and try to push an agenda, usually fail horribly. Right now, it looks like Solo is not doing so well, and they're kind of hoping for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and they're going to count that as a whole weekend um, to really boost the numbers on this movie. Do I want it to fail? No, it's Star Wars. I want to see what it's... I'll, I will go see it because I want to see it. It's freaking Han Solo. Uh, but I, I think I think we need to take a step back sometimes and go like, okay, we never needs to calm and calm their tits a little bit and just say enough is enough. Everyone just shush. Let's just be entertained by a space opera. Anyways, those are my thoughts. This went a little longer than typical. Uh, my friends, make sure you uh, put your comments in the comment section below. I want to hear what you have to say. Let's have a conversation. I'm all about having civil conversations uh, about uh, anything, really. So let's have the conversation. Put your comments in the comment section below, and we will uh, talk about it. huh? Anyways, my friends, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Another video coming out later tonight. And, uh, yeah, remember, always to be kind. It's about community, and we'll see you later. Good day. Ba 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 